let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let's add custom fluids to Minecraft. Or what we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to add custom fluids to Minecraft. Now, one disclaimer immediately, the way that the fluid is going to work is basically it's going to act exactly like water because to change the way that the fluid works, we would actually have to change the physics behind it. And that is actually not possible at the moment, or let's just say that would be very complicated. So we're not going to do that. That is one of the sort of things that you have to keep in mind. Otherwise, we can do a few things. So in our tutorial mod package, let's create a new package called fluid. And inside of that, we're going to create a new Java class called mod fluids. And this will first of all have a public static a final deferred register of type fluid net Minecraft fluid. And this is going to be called fluids. And this is equal to the deferred register dot create forge registries dot fluids. And then our tutorial mod. Mod ID. And of course, any class that has a deferred register will also have a public static void register method with an I event bus in it called event bus. And this will then do fluids.register event bus. And this method will then be called in the tutorial mods class right beneath the mod structures register. We'll do mod fluids.register event bus. Right now we have a little bit of a space up here and that is because we actually want three resource locations. I'm going to copy them over. The, the code is of course available in the description below and these three resource locations point to the water that is flowing overlay or still. And the reason we're using the water is because the, the actual texture of that is actually gray and we can then lay over a color so we can basically color our fluid, whatever we would like. So let's start by making a flowing fluid. This is going to be a public static final registry object of type flowing fluid, very important flowing fluid, oil fluid, and that is equal to fluids dot register. And this will take the oil underscore fluid name. And this is going to be a new forge flowing fluid dot source. Very important that you have this correctly. Mod fluids dot oil underscore properties, which we don't have yet. We will implement those in just a moment. We actually need to do it like this. And then we can copy this over and this will then be oil flowing. And instead of oil fluid, this is now oil flowing. And a very important, change this source to flowing. Very important. This is source, this is flowing, right? So that's very important to change this to flowing because this is the flowing, this is the source. And then we can actually create the properties. So this is going to be a public static Final, this is going to be forge flowing fluid dot properties and we'll call them the oil properties which is equal to new forge flowing fluid dot properties and then we're going absolutely crazy we need a supplier of the oil fluid so this is oil fluid dot get then we need a supplier of the oil flowing dot get then we want a fluid attribute dot builder the small one. And there we want to put in, first of all, water still resource location and then water flowing resource location. And here now we can add basically some additional things. So we can do dot. And as you can see, there are some things that we can add. So for example, we can add density. We can also add luminosity. We can also add the viscosity. Now, if I'm not mistaken, all three of those actually don't do anything in terms of functionality. They're just sort of there to, to have them. We can also add a sound. So for example, we can do something like sound events dot uh, item honey. I think that item honey bottle drink, that's uh, a good one. And then we can also add the overlay that is actually very important. This is the water overlay resource location. And then one thing that we really want to add is the color. Now the color is a very special thing because it says it takes an integer here, but it actually takes that in hexadecimal. And what's really interesting, and this is something I still, to this day, I, I don't understand why that is the case. Uh, it actually takes it sort of a little bit differently. So this is some, this is a color that I have. How this is done, this is usually in the format RGBA. So this is red, then green. So the first two characters are red, then it's green, then it's blue, and then A is the alpha value. Now, for whatever reason, the color here is actually completely differently. This is the alpha value and the rest is RGB. So this is ARGB for whatever reason. I have no idea, just wanted to mention that quickly. So you can change the color by basically changing this and you can also change how see-through it is by changing the alpha value on this. Now we can close that 
and add some additional things. And that would be, for example, the slope find a distance. So slope find distance basically is the distance that this flowing block will travel until it finds a slope. So for water, that would be four in this example. So we can put two, for example, in there and then level decrease per block. Default for water would be three. We're gonna just put it to two as well. And then we'll have a block here and that is going to be a, another block that we actually have to define. So this will take in a supplier of mod fluids dot oil block, which we don't have yet dot get. We will do that in just a moment. And then we'll also call bucket, which is going to be a supplier of mod items dot oil underscore bucket dot get and then we'll close this right here we'll import the mod items class and then last but not least we'll make a public static final registry object of type flowing fluid block called oil block which is equal to mod blocks dot blocks dot register under the name oil and this is going to be a new flowing fluid block so this one right here and this will take in the mod fluids dot oil fluid dot get and then some abstract block properties dot properties dot create from material material dot water there you go and then afterwards we're also going to call does not block movement hardness and resistance is going to be 100 and no drops here the rest should be taken from the material water anyway and now the last thing that we need is going to be the oil bucket in the mod items class so let's open the mod items class and let's just add the oil bucket there so let's just copy the redwood sign this is going to be the oil underscore uh, bucket and this is of course the oil underscore bucket here as well and this is a bucket item and the bucket item as its first parameter actually takes the in the fluid so this is going to be a supplier of a mod fluids dot oil fluid dot get and then we don't actually need the two blocks here from the sign there you go so we can do something like that and let's format this a little bit differently there you go and then the max stack size here will actually be one because usually on these buckets we have a max stack size of one now what i really what i want to emphasize is that intellij might say hey we can replace this with a method reference and the same goes for here do not replace this those all need to be suppliers otherwise it will not work there's sort of a circular reference here and if we don't have the suppliers in there it's not going to work so that's very important that you have that now last but not least in the tutorial mod class we actually wanted to add three render look lookups here so we're just going to copy one of them over here and then we're going to change this to mod fluids dot oil fluid and instead of get cut out this is going to be get translucent get translucent there you go so let's copy this three times this will then also be the oil block here and then also oil flowing this will make sure that this is actually translucent and we can see through it the color of course is then determined by this one and then the only thing that we need to add is the item model for the bucket so let's quickly add that right here so oil bucket and this is in there this as you can see simply points to a oil bucket texture in the item textures so nothing crazy here in this case so let's get that over as well this is of course also available for download in the description below and then let's add the item here as well so oil underscore bucket and then oil bucket here as well oil bucket now what you can also do is you can also do the fluid and then tutorial mod and then something like oil right here because for example if something like jei is installed then the fluid of course is also inside of the item list and this would then be what you would need i'm not a hundred percent sure whether or not you need the oil the oil fluid or the oil flowing i think if i'm not mistaken you need the oil block here right so after all of this crazy ordeal let's see if it works right and while usually the lang file is the last thing we do we actually need to add another tag so under data minecraft tags we want to create a new directory called fluids and in there we want to create the water tag so new file water.json and i will simply quickly copy this over so we want the oil flowing and the oil fluid in there the reason we want this under the water tag is this basically determines the physics for this block that is why we can't really change the physics of course there's always a way to change the physics you can um, manipulate a lot of the methods and change a lot of the th stuff but that is very advanced stuff and of course that's not what we're going to do here we're simply going to basically take the water physics for our oil also note that this will make it so that you have water particles 
when you splash into it, there's no way that we can change this because the water particles are actually done on the entity instead of the fluid. So at the moment, there is no way for us to change it. However, after adding the tag as well, let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft once more and let's see, the oil bucket has been added to the game. So let's actually get a few of those and then let's switch to survival mode because then the actual oil is going to go out of the bucket. So I can set it down and as you can see, it is going towards a slope. And if I actually break this block, it's also going to extend even more. And if I jump into it, as you can see, it acts like water. And it also has the splash effects and the particle effects of water. Like I have already mentioned, this is basically hard coded. So you can't really change that. If you want to delve deep into how the physics system works and how that works, you are of course totally free to do that. However, that is definitely way too advanced for just a tutorial just like this. We can also submerge under here. And as you can see, the color has worked really well and really fine. And yeah, again, as you can see, that is the basics of adding custom fluids to the game. So you will actually always need all of those four different things. You will need a block for it. You will need some properties. You will need a flowing fluid and a source fluid. So that's very important. Apart from that, it looks fairly complicated, but when you really think about it, it's not that bad, really. Right, if any questions remain, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we're done with this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like, and I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.